Keep up and see you, Felix. In this video, I will reproduce his haircut, color, and finish style. Roll the tape. To reproduce this look today, I'm going to use only the shears. So you guys can see that I can use the razor or the shears to actually do the same haircut with the same technique. Let's go. This is how the perimeter will look if I was going to use the razor, a little bit softer and wispier. By using the point cutting technique, I'll get a shatter finish, but it still will be more solid than with the razor. To get a straight line on the back, you gotta push the hair backwards. If you cut it on the side, you'll get a round shape. So stay on the back and move the fingers back. To cut the bangs, I will make a two fingers width section going from the corner of one eye to the other. I like to cut the hair using the minimal possible tension on this area. To be able to achieve this, I will be using the comb as a guide to hold the hair as I cut it. I rest the comb just above the nose on this area and I cut it using the point cutting technique. Felix on this look has short sideburns, like a mullet, but they are not shaped or cut with the clippers, they just texturized. See the section that I have made to cut vertically using the shears with the French cutting technique. Then I take the texturizing shears with the white teeth and I texturize the area until I get the desired effect. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. I'm counting on you! Using the comb as a reference, I will separate the front to the back area. This will ensure that the short parts of the sides don't go too far back and it end up on the right space. Using the guide from the bends, continue the same diagonal back. Connect the front to the back by slide cutting with the shears from behind the ear to the length of the haircut. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Now I'm finished cutting the whole perimeter area. At this point I will move to the interior part of the haircut to create all the layers. So Felix haircut is a small hairstyle, so it's long on the back and short on the front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce the top and I'm going to create a waist line about this area and I'm going to cut layers in this area and leave it solid mostly on the top. I will condense the whole interior section of this haircut into the two combs. And then I will comb the hair from the crown all the way down to the base. Using the bangs as a reference, I will cut the layers from short to long. To cut these incremental stars that it goes from short to long, I always like to use condensed cutting with the chewing comb technique. I think it gets the job done better than any other technique. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Take some extra hair from the nape area if you want to add some more layers as you see me doing here. Don't miss the next video on the channel, Denji from the Chainsaw Men. It looks incredible, you can already see it on Instagram. Finish the layers all the way to the perimeter. The interior part of the haircut is the one who gives you all the movement, direction, texture and volume. Use a diagonal back to finish the top of this haircut. Connect the length of the bangs with the length of the layers. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side. To achieve this extra light blonde color, I did two bleach applications. For this type of work, it's always better to visit a professional, specialized in this type of services. It is not easy to achieve this color and keep the integrity and quality of the hair. To dry the hair with a natural volume, use paste from 1821. At the end of the video, I would use Felix also leaves his hair natural from time to time, as you can see in the photos on the iPad. I like to use the ram brush to make the hair smooth and round the ends a little bit at the end.
Here you can see the effect on the layers. Using the French technique, retouch the ends following the same angle I cut before. As you can see, it's an incremental line. Using the finish here with the white teeth, I will just raise the tips around the whole head. Follow the direction of the layers and create an internal graduation. This keeps the integrity of the layers, but it's creating an internal graduation that it makes it easier for the teeth to stay in an inward direction. This type of haircut is ideal for white foreheads. Works well with round faces, triangles, and ovals. Diamond faces or heart shapes do not benefit from this type of styles. It is possible that this one is one of the most complicated haircuts that I have reproduced on the channel so far. To get the layers to look like this on the back is not easy to do. 1821 wax will make it easier for me to finish this style by providing me texture and support. This is my favorite part of the whole process. After I've done the haircut, the color and the styling, can I make it look exactly like the picture? It's always a cool challenge. To prepare the hair for the final photo, I will use hairspray from 1821. And you should do the same thing. You put all that work to make it look like this, make sure it stays. As I promised, here's the second more casual style. When the hair is wet, I will add some wax and let it dry naturally. When the hair gets dry, use your fingers or a comb to style it into place. This style looks more natural like you see in the pictures. A lot of times that's how he styled it. This is Angel Del Solar, the hairbender. <laughs>